you know what? I'm not winning this match anyway. Guys, I am at Samsung's booth here at CES 2020, about to check out all things Samsung has to offer for displays. New gaming monitors, like the one I'm sitting right in front of now. New gaming enhancements for televisions. Let's go check it out. Jason, for a long time, Samsung has been known as the display king. Now tell us, for CES 2020, what's all the buzz with Samsung? I really like that title. Yeah, uh, no, no. And, and from the world of Samsung, when it comes to visual display and our innovative products, uh, we have an awful lot going on from our monstrous and beautiful 292-inch modular wall display that you saw. I saw it on the way in. The yeah. City to our 8K TVs, even to our gaming monitors. Uh, whatever it is you're looking for from a display, Samsung's gonna have a, a product that's gonna meet your lifestyle needs. So for the gamers out there watching, what do we have specifically focused both from televisions and monitors for video gamers? Well, from monitors, right behind us over here, we have our new G9 Curve Monitor. And if you're a gamer, this is what you want. Right. It's 49 inches, it contains dual quad HD resolution. It has a 1000R curvature, so when you're sitting it. there at your normal viewing distance, you're completely immersed and surrounded by what it is you're seeing. It has a one millisecond response time, Perfect. 240 uh, hertz refresh rate to go along with QLED-like picture quality for, for uh, imagery and color and uh, uh, contrast, excuse me. So whatever it is you're playing, your experience is really going to be enhanced with this G9 monitor. Do we have pricing or availability yet for the G9? We do not have either. Okay. <laughs> All right, perfect. And then we're also standing in front of a very stunning display. Please tell me about this. This is one of our uh, 8K QLED TVs, and gaming is a really big part of TVs. I mean, everybody likes to watch their favorite movies and sports, but gaming on TVs is coming a is becoming a really big part of our industry. And Samsung, for the last few years, has really been focused in on this important category of consumer. Uh, we have something called Auto Game Mode built into our TV, where when you're plugged up to today's leading uh, gaming consoles, the TV has the ability to automatically switch its video processing from what works well to watching TV to what works well for gaming, minimizing input lag, improving graphics, improving sound separation so you're really having a good experience. And then we also have a couple of, we'll say advanced wrinkles to add in that we call Real Game Enhancer that have the ability to uh, improve contrast or improve visibility in dark areas. So if you're playing first person shooter games and you're going up against somebody who likes to camp out in those dark areas right. and then surprise you when you're least expecting it, uh, our, our uh, Dynamic Black Equalizer has the ability to bring those people or those characters into the light a little bit more to give you the competitive advantage. And these are the same game mode enhancers that we've seen on previous iterations of Samsung televisions, correct? Uh, that's right. This yeah. is uh, this is going to be multi years running with the auto game mode in our TVs and the real game enhancer. Perfect. And specifically with the new televisions announced here at CES, there is uh, audio that is more dynamic. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, in some of our uh, flagship or upper end model TVs, we have something called object tracking sound built in. And this is sort of a 3D like platform for sound coming out of the internal audio in our TVs. We're able to do this by placing speakers in the upper corners of the TVs as right. well as in the side, as opposed to what we've come to know from these thin body, slim bezel TVs uh, of the last several years where the speakers just fire straight down. By placing the TVs around and having the ability to work in conjunction with how images are being displayed on screen, we're able to hear sound coming out of the screen as we're seeing it happen on screen. So as something moves from upper right to lower left, I think I went opposite there with my hand, but you get the, <laughs> pic you get the picture, you're hearing it as it's happening on screen, which is also going to enhance uh, the immersive experience and uh, your overall gaming. So it's giving you that surround sound experience really right from the display. Coming right out of the screen right at you, yeah. And then it also, uh, and some of our TV has, TVs has something called Symphony, so if you are using a Samsung soundbar, uh, select Samsung soundbar, the TV's internal audio will work in conjunction with your soundbar to make an even more immersive audio experience rather than just using your soundbar alone or the TV's internal audio alone. They'll work together at the same time. Now, Jason, the last display that I want to ask you about today is the Cero TV. What can you tell me about that? So it's moving away from gamers and more into <laughs> the mobile heavy user or the uh, the social media connoisseur, that's what Cero is all about. You think of the way we capture our own content and our own footage or how we view videos uh, or movies on our phone. Sometimes it's orientated best in a portrait in a portrait format, sometimes in a landscape format. Uh, and TVs generally just give you one because they're set. But with Cero and the way it's constructed on a mechanical arm, it has the ability to rotate between the two different orientations. So if I'm watching videos from certain apps on my phone, 
that look good in a portrait mode, mm -hmm. and I want to send them to my TV. My problem is now I'm going to have really big black bars on either side of the TV, right? And I'm really going to miss out on some of that experience I'm hoping to gain by casting to a bigger screen or mirroring to a bigger screen. But with Saro, all I have to do is, depending on the mobile device I'm using, if it's a Samsung Galaxy device, I just have to take the phone and rotate my hand, and if my phone is connected to Saro, Saro will automatically reorientate to a landscape position or a portrait position. If awesome. I'm using an iOS device, I can use the remote for the TV to change it, or the SmartThings app will also do it as well. So lots of different ways to interact with the Sarah. All right, well, it seems like Samsung has a little something for everybody. Something for everybody, <laughs> a solution, the display, the size, the resolution, uh, whatever it is you're looking for, we have the product for you. Awesome, well, the booth looks stunning. Congratulations. Thank you very much. We're really excited about 2020. Don't mind me. I'm going to spend a little bit more time with this beauty while I can before I have to move on to my next appointment. But make sure that you stay right here on Newegg for all of your CES coverage.